Good morning and welcome to Ed the Cake Science Guy. And are you ready for your education on <laughs> sugar art? Today we will be discussing the difference between regular elite jars and master elites. Take it away, science guy. All right, so I'm going to break down a couple of things. Many of you have already had tons of experience with our traditional elite colors, but the master elites are a beast of a whole different type. What I'm going to do is basically try to cover not only the chemicalological difference between one and the other, but the reactive difference between them as well. So the, ma the traditional elite colors, they've been bonded. The parent color of them is essentially these master elites, but they've been bonded to a substrate called aluminum hydroxide. And different elites have different substrates, but in general, that's the most popular one. What that does is it takes it from becoming a dye or a heavily concentrated pigment, and it gives it more of a reactiveness. And it's already active, so it, that beautiful vibrant red that you see there, that's gonna be ever present in whatever application you use it. It also now has more of an indicativeness to like stuff that has shortening, fats, uh, a perfect example, buttercream, uh, royal icing, and also chocolates. So these are great for those. But so get... Okay, so let's clear that up. All right. The small elite jars are an all-in-one. They can color from royal icing all the way down to chocolate and everything in between. For, in almost every instance, that's exactly right. There may be some off-ball scenarios where we haven't taken into account, but as it goes to be said, there's very little that the mass, the regular conventional elites can't be used to pigment something, whether it's airbrushing, mixing into fondant. However, it may not necessarily be the best application, and that's what I want to cover and discuss today. Right, because so, most elite jars, I'm so sorry. <laughs> not a problem. Most elite most of our elite colors are mixed with other lighter tones, so they're not able to get the same intensity that they receive from Master Elite, so it's not really economical to use small jars well, to color a huge batch no, of icing. No, no, or... certainly, yeah, that's absolutely correct. But additionally to that, this is a, a very different type of pigment, so it's very concentrated where these, they can range anywhere from uh, fifteen percent pigment to forty-five percent pigment. Even though it's one hundred percent food coloring and nothing has been added to it, they have different intensities and vibrancy. So you may have a color such as sunflower versus a daffodil. Daffodil is very light, whereas sunflowers are very vibrant yellow. But to show you the starkest difference, I'm just going to take a little spatula of the regular elite and put it inside the water. And just like you would expect. It doesn't really like water. It either precipitates down or it stays suspended up in the air and it doesn't really dissolve. Now I can agitate it, mm -hmm. but I don't want to do that necessarily for this particular demonstration. And all it does is kind of break it up and kind of makes it float. But you see the color itself didn't react with the water. But as a stark contrast, and remember the master elites need to have moisture. So if you were to use them inside of chocolate, with the exception of the white and the black, it would not dissolve. Okay. But this master elite, I can even use a little bit less, but what I'm gonna do is take that, put it inside there. Sorry about Ellie, you guys. I apologize for my dog, but the magic is gonna start happening once it starts reacting with the water and Ooh. watch what, and you see the water itself reacts with the actual pigment inside there and it makes it a homogenistic blend top to bottom. Oh my gosh, the, that is so cool. The intensity is many times over what the conventional elite is. However, one of the disadvantages is that this does not work with chocolates. So there are great advantages to having the conventional elite. And why does red not work with chocolate? Let's review that again, well, red and green. The master elite don't work with chocolate because they need to have moisture. They need something to have it activate. Now, the only exception I can think of where it would work with chocolate is if, say, you made a ganache, uh -huh. and in that ganache, you have obviously a heavy cream or butter, and then that would act as the moisture which would activate it. So speaking of heavy cream, I'm glad this came up because I had two people 
asked me yesterday if they could color their Mousse? whipped cream. Absolutely, you can color your whipped cream because not only does it have the fat that's found naturally inside of it, but it's also very much uh, contains a ton of water from just the actual dairy itself. Okay. So that would react well. And you see it's continuing to precipitate and that's maybe only a third of the color. And you see how intense, how vibrant and how strong, okay. but you see it will continue to get darker and darker, but it's fully, the same amount of color was added to both of these. Right. That's what's incredible. Okay, so to summarize this up, the main difference between the our regular Elite jars and Master Elites is the chemicalogical difference well, of being bonded in like a different exactly. way. Exactly, so these were bonded to a substrate which made them more conducive with something that would like a fat, a shortening, or something uh, so such, for such chocolate as artists, if they want to color elite. batches of chocolate, it needs to be the small elite jars. That's correct? right. That's okay. Right. And then for all other and, sugar, however, but they can use the master elite white uh -huh. and the black. Those are the only two exceptions. Okay. For chocolates. That's right. But outside of that, and why are those exceptions? Because in all honesty, they're very similar in chemical composition to what we have in our regular leads. The only difference is that it has a little bit of a tweak. It has a different makeup. And what we've okay. done is we've also included that in a much larger jar, uh -huh. allowing for a huge discounted rate. It's That's true, bulk discounted rate. Absolutely, even more than conventional wholesale. Okay. But the master elites themselves, uh -huh. they need to have moisture and water to truly activate them. Without that, you saw in my prior video where I put it inside of chocolate and it looked very muted and subdued and we don't want to have that. Right. So I did a very cheeky line of stories yesterday. You where did. I was Yes, I did. <laughs> I'll show that to you next. <laughs> where I was getting onto everyone trying to airbrush the master elites because it's not a good idea. No. no. Okay. So I, I just want to tell you that. Well, also <laughs> the master elites even, and it isn't this all. So I, oh, my point was, I'm sorry to interrupt. The only technique that should be used with master elites is to mix inside of ingredients. Almost any conventional icing. That's the best way to use them. Don't dust. Don't dust. Don't paint. No. Don't airbrush. I have a question. Your video that you showed how to airbrush, did you use alcohol? I didn't airbrush. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm not staining my office for this. No, no. way. <laughs> it will be a hot mess. Yes. But as you can see, the same amount of color was added to both of these. Uh -huh. One loves water. One is repelled by water. Perfect. Thank you so much, Edward. I think they got the gist. All right. Thank you very much. Take Th care, guys. Thanks, guys.